The nicest part of a holiday meal is when everyone pitches in. And since every Thanksgiving feast inevitably ends with pies, I asked baking authority Rose Levy Berenbaum to share her skills with us. When it comes to making pie, Rose Levy Berenbaum is the master. I invited her to my kitchen at Windows on the World restaurant at the top of the World Trade Center to show me how to make two of her most popular recipes, her great pumpkin pie with a checkerboard crust and her open-faced designer apple pie. The resulting pie is absolutely beautiful. Why don't you tell me about your pie crust that you use here? My favorite crust is a cream cheese crust that uses both butter and cream cheese. Before adding the filling, Rose like blind bakes the crust. crust. The reason we blind bake is because that gives it a head start in baking so that before you put all the juicy stuff in, it gets crisp. Because don't you hate a soggy bottom crust? I'm using a coffee filter and rice. We bake it at 425 for 20 minutes. That's when it sets. Then we pull this parchment out with the rice and we prick it all over with a fork. See how wonderfully flaky the crust is. Next, it's time for the apple filling. Rose prefers Golden Delicious or Granny Smith apples. And then this is my trick to make really nice slices. I cut it in half and then use a melon baller. And that scoops out the core so that each slice is going to have a beautiful round shape. We want to have the apples as thin as possible. I'm using my fingers as a guide behind the knife. And I make it no th thicker than an eighth of an inch. After five apples are sliced, they're combined with the dry ingredients. Then they sit for at least half an hour yes, until the really juice is drained liquid. out of the, the apples. The trick here is that we're not going to throw out this wonderful, flavorful liquid that has the apples and the sugar syrups. So we're going to bo boil it down and concentrate it and add it back to the apples. Oh, that's great. And then we start layering the pie. This is a time-consuming process. So you don't actually line the bottom of the pie shell with any apples. You just keep no. layering it around. Keep it's almost going. like a rose. Exactly. After arranging the apple slices, Rose creates the decorative pie edge. We're attaching raw dough to baked dough, which most people would be horrified at the idea, but it works. Very good, and you just finish the whole edge with all of the leaves, cut as many as you need. So it looks beautiful. All this pie making makes me hungry, but I'm really ready for my favorite pumpkin pie. Can you show me a pumpkin pie? Rose's great pumpkin pie with a checkerboard crust puts another twist on a favorite American pie. We're going to start off with pumpkin, and this is canned pumpkin. I think it's better than fresh because it's very uniform in the moisture content and the flavor. She heats the pumpkin mixture until it sputters. With all the spices and the sugar, it melts together and accentuates the flavor. Then pours the mixture into the food processor and adds the liquid ingredients. This is going to be the world's only silky pumpkin pie because we're going to be doing it in the food processor and it breaks up all those little threads of the pumpkin. Rose has another secret, a trick for crisp bottom crust. I use ground up ginger snap and pecans and press it into the bottom of the raw dough. You just use store-bought ginger snaps? Yeah. Then the other secret is I bake it right on the floor of the oven. Before baking, Rose creates her checkerboard border. Now this is the most unique presentation I've seen on a pumpkin pie ever. Thank you. Is it unique good? See, every other little square gets bent in. It's a very nice finished look. The pie is baked at 375 degrees until it shakes like jelly. Both of Rose's pies are beautiful to look at, but that's not all. They taste great, too. These are both delicious. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Now, I tell you, she was an inspiration. Oh. So, I mean, to look at the old traditionals in a fresh new light. What a baker. Rose and her book, The Pie and Pastry Bible. I mean, it's, she does a great job for explaining to us at home how to do great baking. And you did a great job on basting the turkey. This is a 14-pound turkey. It's been in the oven at 325 for Ishbel, three my hours. My turkey's almost ready. I'd love ready. to bring it to that table. What do you think? Come, let's feast. And it is quite a spread, so you might want to email your friends and relatives the website recipes, just so you can all participate in the fun of cooking on Thanksgiving Day. Absolutely. The more the merrier, especially when you have great recipes like this, baked yams with spicy molasses butter. 
O and carrot puree, which is such a fresh accent to the So meal. delicious. And our cranberry sauce with dried cherries and cloves. And the cornbread stuffing with baking just makes the whole house smell of Thanksgiving. One of my favorites, braised Brussels sprouts, pearl onions, and chestnuts together in a dish. Delicious. And the turkey, it's golden. It's perfect. And Michael, I know you happen to be particularly fond of this Behringer. It's a North Coast Zinfandel. It's got a fantastic, robust flavor that can hold up to the sweet and savory accompaniments to the turkey. And after all of this, Rose Levy Barenbaum's pies, apple pie, her designer apple pie, and her wonderful pumpkin pie. So remember all the recipes you saw here today and thousands more from Gourmet and Bon Appetit magazines are available on our website at epicurious.com. I'm Ishmael McIntosh. And I'm Michael Lamonico. Please join us next time on Epicurious. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.